If you agree with those who believe the past year has been a manure show, I cleaned that up a bit, didn't I? Then do I have good news for you. Hey friends, this is Pastor Ron with this week's Message of Hope. I'm in my backyard of my garden. This black drum looking thing behind me is my compost bin. Lots of scraps and leftovers from the kitchen make their way into this bin. And can I just say when the weather heats up, this thing gets really nasty. Last summer it was filled with maggots. It had flies and gnats buzzing all around it. And you could smell it from, from about 10 feet away. But over time, those banana peels, apple cores, tea bags, rotten fruit and veggies mixed with sawdust to make what we gardeners call black gold. I mean, just look at this stuff. Isn't that beautiful? This compost is filled with nutrients and it'll give my veggies and flowers a boost like nothing else. It's ironic, isn't it, that life comes from death. It's written into the very makeup of our world. You'll pay good money for this at a garden store, but I, I got it for free simply by piling up lots of rotten dead stuff. In the classic book, Paradise Lost, John Milton compares the evil of history to a compost pile. His point is that the worst events of human history, those that we cannot understand, are compost in God's wonderful eternal plan. Out of the greatest evil, the death of Jesus, came the greatest good. Our good God utterly and ultimately transforms all evil into good, which means he will do the same with the year we've been through. One year ago began a series of events that has turned our world upside down and disrupted most of our lives. All of us have experienced some degree of loss. But here's the good news. In Romans 5, 3, Paul says, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us. In other words, suffering is good soil. It's an accelerant for growth, just like this compost. Now, I'm not saying it's fun to go through any more than I'm saying it's fun to breathe the air around this compost bin when everything inside of it is decaying. But the end result is something truly remarkable. If you will value what God values, and that's a large if for many of us, you will realize the result of trials is often a net profit. We gain more than we lose. So, how has God used the events of the past year to transform you? What is God seeking to do in your life? A theme I've hit often is that you can gripe and complain and blame your way through times like this and get caught up in all of the social, political, and cultural drama, or you could look for the hand of God in the midst of this. One of my favorite podcasters said the other day in a recent episode, God uses new events to raise old issues. The reason we go through these moments is not because God loves to straighten us out. It's that he might transform us so we might know him more and know him better. Maybe the old issue for you is control. Perhaps it's learning to trust, trust God and others. Maybe it's people pleasing. Perhaps it's pride. The glorious thing is that if we'll let God do it, he will take the hard stuff of this last year and turn it into black gold. Fruit will come from this. And I'm talking about life transforming fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. The only way to get that gloriously good fruit is through hardship and suffering. The rotting, stinking, ugly stuff of life. Manure becomes fertilizer, which becomes beautiful flowers and big, red, juicy, homegrown tomatoes. Oh yeah. So yes, it's been a tough year, but God does his best work in us through tough times. So let's trust God that a glorious harvest of kingdom fruit is on the way. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Go Oral Roberts University, sweet 16, baby. Yes.